So one other thing that I want to point out while I'm still here is that if I activate, let's say, the rectangle tool, press O to access um, an ellipse tool, draw something inside, another rectangle inside that, then QPath doesn't just keep a reference to these annotations and where I've drawn them, but also the relationships to each other. And you can see that if I press the hierarchy tab. So here I can see a rectangle inside of the ellipse and inside it another rectangle. If I draw a polygon outside that again, then you can see that it's beside the original rectangle. And also if I want to select one of these annotations, firstly I can double click to select the rectangle, but if I want the one higher up, I can then triple click to select it or quadruple click to select the outer rectangle. And so the more I click, QPath will traverse the hierarchy to select the next object up in a kind of a cycle. If I move an object, then QPath will try and update the hierarchy as it does that. And so this is intuitive most of the time, but there is a limitation to it. And that is where it can surprise you if you have overlapping annotations, where QPath treats them as being um, not one inside the other in terms of the hierarchy. And so they're considered side by side. So now the smaller rectangle and the, the circle are considered to be directly below the larger rectangle and beside one another, despite the fact they overlap. And that can be problematic if you have a very small overlap because it might not necessarily be what you expect. And there, checking the hierarchy tab can help confirm exactly where the objects are considered by QPath to be in relation to one another. And this, this matters whenever we start to maybe detect a lot of cells and they're, they're inserted in the hierarchy as well. And then we want to annotate regions to select cells and so on. But a reason why it matters at this point is let's say that I want to select this rectangle. I press backspace to delete it. I'm now given a choice. I can choose, do I want to keep the two descendant objects or not? So backspace means I want to delete this rectangle. If I press cancel, nothing will happen. If I say yes to keep them, which is the default, then the rectangle will go, but nothing else. But if I say no to not keep them, then everything inside will go. And so it's something to be aware of. And it's also something that you can use to your advantage that if you have maybe multiple annotations, you want to get rid of them, then you can draw one larger annotation around them, press backspace, don't keep the descendant objects, and that will help to remove them.